guys, it's Dan Booknook Noggin, and I know it has been a very long time since I have done a book haul. Um, of course, if you've been a regular subscriber, if you've been paying attention, watching my videos, you know that um, I've had some trying times. I guess, like they say, trials and tribulations. <laughs> well, ever since last November, you know, my life has kind of been a shit show. Um... You know, the my 2021 did not end so great. Um, the start of 2022 did not has not been so great. It's been really rough. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Inflation and all this has been crazy. But yeah, um, so I haven't done a book haul in a long time. So I'm going to call this my midwinter book haul because it's a couple months worth of stuff that I figured, you know, I, I asked on Twitter if anybody wanted to see what books I picked up since... And a lot of people were like, yeah, I'd love to see a book haul. So I'm going to do this in, like, little groupings. Um, I had to backtrack and look at my last few book hauls to figure out, like, when it comes to the Shamrock, the Silver Shamrock books. Because um, it's been a while since I've shared any Silver Shamrock books that I had gotten. And my year, um, my free year subscription to that has run out. I've received all the books that I was going to get and the coffee and all that. And I don't think I'm going to share the coffee that I got. I'm just going to share the books. But, you know, enough of me rambling. I'm going to start out with the comics that I had purchased since the last book haul of October. Um, I got the X-Men Hellfire Gala. This is the, um, this is the simplified, uh, trade paperback version of that. There is a different version that was a hardcover that I think has more bonus content. Like, I don't exactly know all the bonus content that it included, but, you know, I think money's been tight, so I, I opted for the cheaper trade paperback cover because, let's face it, you know, if I could save money by buying the paper copy versus the hardcover edition. And then I picked up uh, Excalibur Volume 3. Now, I have yet to read any of this new, like, this new Dawn of X books yet. I've, I've only read a few so far. And then Children of the Atom Volume 1. This seems kind of interesting. Uh, this is written by Vita Ayala. And I'm not sure if these are, like, the children of current X members or if they're created from their DNA because I, they kind of, the House of X Powers of Ten kind of alluded to something like that, that they were going to mix DNA and create different versions of mutants. So I'm not sure if that's what this is. I, I'll have to read it and find out, I guess. And then I got... X Factor Volume 2. And I picked this one up for nostalgia's sake. Uh, X Men Milestones Inferno. This was, uh, this came out in the late 80s. And I really enjoyed the storyline. I know I was young, I was probably like 12 or 13, and I really enjoyed it. And, uh,. Yeah, but the, when I got this in the mail, it's kind of like S-shaped, so <laughs> I don't know. It got damaged somehow, but yeah, um, I definitely want to reread this because, like, it brings back, you know, memories. And I don't know if this is the full story or not. I'm hoping it is because it's kind of big, but it's been a long time since I've read that. And then last but not least, I got X-Core Volume 1. And then we're going to, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to go grab another batch of books and show you guys those. Okay, um, so I got the Silver Shamrock books. I kind of just threw them in a pile. So I don't know which month, like, each two books came from. I just kind of, I had to go back through my videos and figure out which ones I'd already share with you guys because... I haven't even taken, like, Instagram pictures or anything of these when I did get them. I was just kind of in a bad place, and things were not going too well, so I didn't really, you know, share them online. But I got the Saga of Deadeye. This is a Ronald Kelly. I know a few people are really wanting to read that. Uh, never heard of this author, Justin Holly, uh Tethered to Darkness. Never heard of him. 
I don't know. Um, this was one of the ones that was on my wish list. Uh, Midnight from Beyond the Stars. This has got quite a few uh, authors that I'm interested in reading. Like Chad Lutsky, um, Stephanie Ellis, Ronald Kelly, Samantha Kolyesnik, Tim Curran, Tim Meyer, Red Legault, Bob Pastorella, and, uh, you know, Gambino Iglesias, Jennifer Sosi. There's a Brennan LaFaro. There's a bunch of people in here. That I wanted to read, and there's the one that I want to get is Midnight in the Pentagram, I think, is the one that I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to have to just order that one for myself. And then uh, by Russell James, you got Farrell on Island. Never really heard of this guy, but I think I've seen this book floating around Horror Tube. Savage Island by Brian Moreland. Don't really know this author either. And then Jennifer Sousey, uh Dead in the Water. And... I think that she might have had another Silver Shamrock book that I think I got in a past book box. Not 100% sure, but yeah, let's go on to the next batch of books. And now we've got the final stack. Sorry for <laughs> the massive amount of books I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to reshare this one even though I made a separate book mail video for it. Um, I wanted to share this again because... This is one of the one of the underrated authors that I think you guys should be reading if you like weird fiction. Um, this is Matt Lyons' newest that's coming out March 15th of 2022, and this is um, A Black and Endless Sky. I, you can go check out my unboxing of that if you want to hear more about it. Go look it up on Goodreads. Um, yes, this is my most anticipated read for 2022. And then I picked up a cop, a hardcover copy of Gerald's Game by Stephen King. Um, they read this over on Brad Proctor's channel on his uh, Discord. And I don't remember if I read this back in the day or not, but um, I picked up a copy because I was like, you know what, uh, I might want to read that. I think I've read it already before. Um, I've read this at least twice. Um, Cujo, this is a newer paperback copy but I read it back in the day when I was a teen and then I reread it not too long ago so. and then I've never read this one the Duma Key or Duma Key um, but I've heard a lot it's a chunker and I think that's kind of why I kind of stayed away from it because it was a chunker but um, a lot of people were like yeah this was a really good one so I was like you know what um, it's this isn't the kind of paperback that I want to keep and collect, but, you know, I saw it and I was like, you yeah, know, why not? Just grab it. It was relati relatively cheap. And then we got Stephen King's Insomnia. I've never read this. So there's that. It's another chunker. And then um, Stephen King's The Dark Tower Gunslinger. Um, I've read the prequels, which were produced by Marvel. There's a number of uh, the Dark Tower prequel books, and I read all those, but I've never read the Dark Tower series itself, so I was like, why not? Maybe I should get on that. I really enjoyed the, the prequels. I picked up uh, Chuck Palahniuk's Survivor. I really enjoyed Chuck Palahniuk, I've, the few books I've read by him, so I was going to grab that. Dave Sedaris, um, The Best of Me. I think he's hilarious. Everything I've read by him, he's autobiographical, kind of journal-esque kind of writings, but I've never been let down by any of his books. He's so funny. Um, just the way he looks at things in life and the kind of things that have happened to him. Yes, definitely. If you're looking for a good laugh and you kind of want to relate to somebody, like when it comes to like being unemployed and looking for jobs, yeah, he's he's someone great to read. Really enjoyed his stuff, so when I saw that, and it's like a it's like a like new book, so I was like, yeah, definitely picking that up. Got this free from the library, The Hunger, Alma Katsu. Um, this is kind of her retelling of the Donner Party. I have heard good things about this, and that was an interesting moment in history. And then last but not least, we've got Darcy Coates, The Carol Haunt. Um, I've never read any Darcy Coates, but I know she writes a lot of hauntings, so it's kind of right up my alley. So I figured I saw that. It was relatively cheap. I did not pay whatever that sticker says. I paid like a dollar for it. 
but yeah, those are the books that I have picked up since November. So this is my midwinter book haul. Kind of a lot of a lot of used books, not too many new books, because like I said, I've been kind of tight on funding funds and money and. Yeah, um, if you've read any of these, or if you intend on reading any of these, let me know down below. If there's a certain book that stands out you think I should read before one of the others, like if there's one you think I should not wait and sit on and wait to read, definitely let me know down below, because I'm always up. I'm more of a mood reader, so I don't read stuff as I get it. Um, I tend to, you know, if I'm in the mood to read something, that's when I decide to read something, so yeah. But those are the books I've got. Um, you know, I will throw down my coffee link if you don't mind helping support my channel. Um, another way you can help support my channel if you can't afford to buy me a coffee or two is you can hit that subscribe button. You can hit that notification bell. This has been Dan. These are the books I bought. Till next time, stay healthy and be good to each other.